Hello, my name is Nick Colts, and today I will be discussing common visual symptoms in blueberry plants that may signify nutrient mismanagement. This presentation may be especially useful to home growers. Although we will cover symptoms of nutrient deficiencies in just a moment, I'd like to begin by discussing the other form of nutrient mismanagement, overfertilization. Overfertilization can cause salt burn injury to blueberry roots. As you can see in the top left photo, the root damage is later manifested as shoot dieback and leaf scorch. Blueberry plants require less fertilization than many other row crops and vegetables, and they are sensitive to overfertilization. This is a common issue for home growers, and I myself have even experienced it in the past. The most common macronutrient deficiency that home gardeners are likely to observe is nitrogen deficiency, usually after forgetting to fertilize their plants. As you can see from the center photo, nitrogen deficiency manifests as paling or leaf yellowing, also known as chlorosis, beginning with the oldest leaves. There may be a slight reddish tint on the margins of these leaves. It is important to note that blueberry plants will not be able to properly utilize nitrate fertilizers. Alternative sources of nitrogen, like ammonium sulfate or urea, are much more suitable. Moreover, chlorinated compounds like murate of potash and magnesium chloride may be harmful to blueberries. Magnesium deficiency is somewhat common in Florida, as our soils are sometimes high in calcium. Calcium and magnesium compete for uptake by the plant. As you can see in the center left photo, magnesium deficiency typically is presented as reddening of areas between the primary lateral veins on the leaves, with the middle of the leaf remaining green in a Christmas tree-like pattern. Blueberry plants require very little calcium, so calcium deficiency, particularly here in Florida, is hardly ever observed. Phosphorus deficiency is uncommon, but it is fairly easy to recognize. New leaves will have a stunted or irregular growth pattern, and they will have a bronze, purplish, or reddish appearance, as you can see in the bottom left photo. Symptoms of potassium deficiency, seen in the bottom right photo, may sometimes resemble symptoms of overfertilization or drought damage, such as leaf cupping and marginal leaf burn. Micronutrient deficiencies are less common than macronutrient deficiencies, but the most common of these would be iron deficiency. Though it is almost always associated with external issues such as overwatering or poor soil drainage, iron deficiency has symptoms that include leaf yellowing and a mottled pattern between leaf veins, like you can see in the top right photo. When it is time to fertilize your blueberry bushes, choose a fertilizer mix that is nutrient specific to acidic soil loving plants. These are widely available at gardening stores, and they may be branded for other plants such as hibiscus or rose. Consult your local extension agent or UF IFAS extension publications for additional guidance. If you can, submit some leaf tissue each year and soil samples every third year to get feedback from, for, on the effectiveness of your fertilization program. Thank you for your attention.